Hello guys and welcome back to the GDI campaign of Command & Conquer Remastered where today we have a choice of three different missions, two of which are much the same but they're going to determine the uh, path that we go down. We'll have a look at the map, we haven't really done so before now. Uh, GDI controlling Greece, Italy, France, uh, these countries up here, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg and Germany here. Nord has just invaded and taken Denmark and uh, Eastern Germany. Nord has that kind of central and eastern European field. A lot of the uh, neutral countries around here are not aligned with GDI but trying to uh, hold out against Nord nonetheless. They don't uh, haven't completely fallen under their fear, uh, sphere of influence. Like I said, three missions to choose from. This one here and this one. Uh, they are going to be uh, much the same, slightly different maps. But the third mission in the center here, I believe it is, is going to have a, a very different uh, format. Now, depending on what mission we choose at this stage, uh, the campaign is going to briefly diverge. So on one hand, if we take this uh, Western approach, we'll find ourselves fighting in Germany next. If we take the Eastern approach, uh, we'll be fighting in Ukraine. But then they'll quickly rejoin. I think they uh, move into Austria after that. Anyway, let's get started up to Belarus. Population 10 million, capital Minsk, government republic, gross domestic product negligible, point of conflict, Bobrusk, and military power, state militia. Here we go. Sanctioned by the United Nations, the Global Defense Initiative has one goal. Eliminate multinational terrorism in an effort to preserve freedom. The Brotherhood of Nod, an ancient and secret society, maintains strong ties with most global terrorist organizations. Commanded by this man, known only as Cain, Nod's long-term goals are unknown. However, recent activities include expansionary behavior into disenfranchised nations, high-volume investment in global trade markets, and aggressive manipulation of international mass media. These efforts are suspected to be funded by Nod's access to vast Tiberium deposits. Tiberium continues to confound the scientific community, soaking up ground minerals and soil nutrients like a sponge. The end result of this unique leaching process creates the formation of Tiberian crystals, rich in precious metals and available for collection with a minimum of mining expense. Delta Sierra echoed a commander approaching our next objectives. We're just crossing the Bolaris border and we've got a problem. Nod ambushed one of our convoys and made off with a good supply of activated pellet rods. Sounds harmless, right? Well, those rods are step one in slapping together a nuclear device. We gotta get him back. Shepard's still offline, so we're acting without confirmation, but I'm betting that this is too important to wait. Take a small force into the Noddy camp and get those rods back before their birds can pick them up. The rods were packed in transport crates. I doubt Nod's had time to transfer them, but who knows. Keep your eyes open. Give him hell. Alright guys, welcome then to GDI yes, Mission 4, the first of three different varieties of this mission, yes. and it is the most challenging mission yet. Yes, sir. 
Ah, there's a wee bit of a timer in this mission in that nod reinforcements are going to keep coming infinitely, so the quicker we can move forwards, the better really. With that in mind, let's push across this Tiberian. Don't bother loading your guys into the APCs, you're just going to slow yourself down. It'll take a lot more damage from the reinforcements that will spawn in that delay than you will from crossing that little area. Let's check our briefing here. Nod has captured classified GDI property. That's the uh, fuel rods that were being mentioned in the briefing. You must find and retrieve the stolen equipment. It is being transported in a shipping crate. Use the new APC to strategically transport infantry through Nod forces. Uh, yeah, let's not listen to that. Keep all your guys on ground so we can have a maximum amount of guns firing at once. Now we're going to take a pretty much a, a beeline through the map to take us to the objective as quick as possible. The minimum of engagements between there and where we are now. Keep moving up here, guys. Now it is possible if you slow the game speed right down to get through this whole mission kill yes, every single enemy Order, but Roger. the odds are yes, so sir. stacked against you that yes, it really is a challenge no. much no. better just to no. move through quicker yes, sir. No. keep going yes, sir. Yes, I need group way. 3 up front here now Not a problem. Got come on it. grenadiers get him next right okay yes, sir. you can see we've got pursuers now but if we move up with a decent speed, I definitely don't want those guys up on the hilltop shooting at us. Not yes, ideal sir. at all. Yes, I need sir. to keep my grenadiers alive as well. Why have I got no group one? Oh, I see. I'm just hitting group the wrong button. Yes, reporting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, right, deal with him. Yes, sir. Right. Here comes the main challenge of the map up ahead of us here. I need you to be closer, guys. Quick. There we go. Fire. Oh, no. You cannot be retreating. I need you down here to do damage. No, no, no. Stay out of range of him. Otherwise, he will squish you. The Grenadiers are the ones that are going to do the damage here, really. Ever more reinforcements landing behind yes, us. Moving right, out. push ahead. Moving out. Yes, moving out. Now we can't just moving sprint out. at the objective, which is probably not a bad idea. Yes, sir. Affirmative. I'll try and play it a little moving bit out. smarter, depending on how. Oh, there's way too many yes, guys. Sir. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. Go, go, objective. There it is. Mission. And there we go. Mission accomplished. War-torn Bialystok, once well, a happy farming town for peace-loving peasants, today, a slaughterhouse. Yet one more casualty in the insane GDI assault against mankind. Yet another in a series of villages wiped off the earth by the Global Defense Initiative and its misguided leader, General Mark Shepard. And what crime did Bialystok commit to warrant said carnage? Sources indicate that GDI terrorists were convinced that this simple hamlet was involved in the manufacture and shipping of Tiberium. When will this madness end? Only one General Shepard in his vision of one world order is stopped. This is Greg Burdett, Bialystok. Cut. Excellent. Now, do it again in French and German. I want 300 copies made and sent to every TV station in Europe. We have the satellite for another 10 minutes. Is that camera still running? There we go then, mission four complete. And our first look at Kane in the flesh as well. We've seen a picture of him before now. We'll be getting to know him a lot better later on. Anyway, that's a very challenging mission. As I was trying to say at the end of the level before the cutscene came up, you can go through it with the game speed turned right the way down and you can be very careful and take out all the units. But uh, that final defensive force out, uh, outside the, um, the objective is really, really difficult to try and wipe them out. So it's better to just sprint whoever is your best health unit, straight towards the fuel rods. The helicopter comes in to pick them up. Anyway, there's a second variety to this mission, which I'll be back to do soon. 
And then after that, we're going to show and save by our stock.